Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make our newest hair bow from Boxer Craft House. This is our unicorn bow. Look at how cute this is. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. We're going to get a little creative on this one and we're going to do different color vinyls. Um, this one I just did a, a white and then I did different color um, pinks to make it pop. But we're going to do something a little bit different. So what you will need is some vinyl. I've already cut my scrap pieces to size. Um, I had these pieces laying around from another hair bow that I made. So this is what I'm using here. So I have three colors. I have my felt for the back of my hair bow. I have my French barrette clip. I also have my sticky um, spray, which I really like a lot. You could use tape too, but um, I like the sticky spray. And you will need a five by seven hoop. So here we go. I'm gonna stitch out step number one and then um, we will put our vinyl on. Okay, so that was step number one. That's the placement stitch for all of your, your vinyl. So right here, you can see we have the top piece, the ears, the piece that ties it all together, and then the horn. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spray my hoop, and then I'm going to place all of my um, pieces of vinyl. And this is what I have done. So I placed all of my pieces of vinyl and then I cut out little notches sometimes to make sure that um, I have plenty of room for my color changing. See? Um, but this is a great way to use all those scraps. Um, so now we put this back on our machine. And we're gonna stitch out, this is um, step number two. This is the detail in the unicorn horn. So um, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do yellow for this. And you can use any color you like. This one's kind of an experiment with some different scraps that I had. So we'll do this in yellow. Okay, so that was step number two. So that was the detail around the, um, or inside of the unicorn horn actually. And now step number three um, is the eyes. So I'm gonna do black for the eyes because they're technically the eyelashes. I guess you could do other colors. That'd be kind of cute with um, a purple maybe. But we'll do black this time.
we've stitched up the eyes now. Change our color now. Now, step number four is going to be the inside of the ears. And because we are using um, a light pink color, I think I'm going to do a darker pink for the inside of the ears. You can see I use this pink a lot. This is one of my favorites. So that was step number four. Step number five is going to um, do our outlines. So we need to take this off the hoop so you can see here are your little ears and this is your horn and we've got our eyes. We've got a couple little jump stitches here I want to cut real quick that my machine missed. I like these little scissors, these little snips here. For cutting these really small jump stitches they work really well okay so now i'm going to put my felt on the back So I have my felt on the back of my hoop, nice and flat, so I'm going to put this back on and I'm going to do another color change. You don't have to do a color change on this, you could do the same color, but I'm going to do a color change. So this is step number five we're stitching out and I'm going to use this like cream color. This is um, color number 902 in um, this type of thread here.
so we're stitching out step number five now this will put everything together So that was step number five. There's one more step to this one. And I, I added this because I felt like the unicorn horn needed a little bit more um, security than um, just some hot glue. So what I did was is I've added a buttonhole to the very bottom of the unicorn. And that's how um, we're going to tie it all in together. So this is step number six. This is your very last stitch. So we're going to get that finished real quick. Okay. So we are finished with part one. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish touching up these little jump stitches and I'm going to cut all this out and then in our next video we will assemble it. So um, make sure you watch that. This is so simple and um, thank you guys again. The file is from boxercrafthouse.com as well as all the vinyl you see. This is our fine white glitter. This is our bubblegum fine glitter. And I believe this is the tangerine fine gl glitter. I'll put all of the links for all of the items that I used to make this in the description too. So thanks again for watching guys. I can't wait to see your unicorn bows.